class has ended for today. Wait, whoa, 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 what? What? Oh! Okay, 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 okay. I get it. This is the final talk to everybody that you've maxed out. Okay. I, I thought we were entering another session of hangouts and stuff. I was so confused. Alright, how you doing, pubescent student? Graduation's coming up. It's a waste of time to pursue anyone who's leaving. Next year will be tough too, man. All the hot cheeks won't stay single for long. You better start planning now. Alright, whatever you say. Sup, dude? Wanna grab a bite at Hakakure? I haven't had their special in a while. If you spot me. Hold up! I ain't made out of money! I'm just a poor broke high school kid here. Come on, <laughs> man, we're buds, right? We even bonded while playing catch and everything, right? Yeah, I guess we never actually got around to that, huh? Well, anyways, hear me out for a bit. I got called into Miss Toriyumi's office again. She asked me what I was planning to do after April. Dude, like I know. And I was trying to play it off, but then she got all worked up and gave me one hell of a lecture. Is it just me? Or has she gotten way more serious than before? Tomochika was saying that you can't even bribe her with cake anymore. <laughs> oh, hey, did you hear from Tomochika about the new teachers coming in April? Apparently they're all women. You have no idea how stoked he was. Honestly, I was getting major secondhand embarrassment. So glad I didn't match that, max out his social link now. <laughs> well, none of that really matters to me. I already got a special some. Huh? Oh. Uh, I did have a special someone, right? Uh, I, I'm not making this up or anything. I'm gonna tell such a pathetic lie to try and look cool. I just thought that that there was someone special in my life. I wonder, does Chidori remember anything of what happened? Because I know she forgot after she came back to life and transmogrified, but it seemed like she might have been remembering. So did that all just go away, or is she still kind of remembering some stuff? Have I forgotten something important? Something I never should have forgotten? Uh, sorry, man. I, I think I'll pass on the ramen, actually. It's all right. Something's been bugging me. I just don't know what, but I feel like it's something I shouldn't have forgotten. It's all good, man. Take your time, you'll remember. Changing here sucks, man. It's such a hassle to learn the new routine. Kari? Oh. oh, sorry, I was just thinking about you. Oh, really? Uh, mm, can we go somewhere else? All right. Thanks. Uh, you look like you're not feeling well. Sorry to bother you at a time like this, but I appreciate it. Uh, hey, sorry for calling you out here. I actually have a little favor to ask. Mm. It's about my mom. I want you to meet her. Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, not, not in a weird way. It's just that... I promised to meet up with her, but I'm still kind of scared. That's sweet. If I see her, I might end up saying some really nasty things. Not as sweet, but you know, the cinnamon is there. What if we end up hurting each other even more? I'm not trying to make her feel bad. I haven't fully sorted out my feelings yet, but I do want to see her, I think. That's why I thought it'd be great if you could be there with me. You don't have to say anything, really. It's just that I'd feel more confident having you around. And with you by my side, I think I could treat my mom with a little more kindness. So if it's not too much trouble, what do you think? Sure. <laughs> You'll do it? Thank you. Okay, I'll call her up right away. I've been putting this off for so long. Sorry to wrap you up in my family situation. It's all good. It's what, what friends are for, to be there to help out in tough situations. Hey, um, you don't think I'm relying on you too much, do you? Not at all. I knew you'd say that. But still, this isn't a one-way street. Let me know whenever you need help too, okay? I never need help. You know, it's almost spring break. It all went by so fast. We're gonna be 30 years soon, and after that, we'll graduate and go to college and then become working adults, I guess. Wow, it's hard to imagine. Do you think we'll still be together at that point? 
Of course. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> well, let's talk about the near future then. I told you to think about where you want to go, remember? I still think the best place to start is Destiny Land. It's just a day trip, so that makes planning easy. And it's perfect for bigger groups, too. Oh, but if we decide on the mountains, we should stay the night. If we're gonna travel far, might as well make the most of it. <laughs> I'm getting excited just thinking about it. And with you, it'll be fun no matter where we go. Hell yeah. Oh crap, I totally forgot to turn in today's assignment. I'd better go do that now. Let's talk about this again soon. Don't forget to save some time during spring break, okay? Very sweet. Stylish student? I've decided to go to a four-year college. I think it's true that you need a good education in life. That doesn't mean I'm giving up. I'll get to the fashion industry, even if I have to take a part-time job or something like that. Well, good for you. Hello, Yuko. Oh, hey. Are you going home now? Okay, then I am too. At least I want to, but I've actually got somewhere to be today. Where? I'll tell you, but don't laugh, okay? Are you gonna be training those kids again? I'm going to the public library. Oh. Because, like, there weren't any books about sports physiology at the school library. I want to try studying stuff like that now. Good for you. Hmm. But, since we've already bumped into each other, <laughs> want to chat for a little longer? At least until we reach the entrance. Well, I'm gonna head off. Going to study? Going home already? Going to study? Yep, I've been doing it every day. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Hey, remember what I told you before? About finally finding my dream? I never had anything to work towards until now, so... I'll admit, I'd been slacking off. Mm, to be honest, my grades really suck. It's been tough getting them back up. Like, I have no idea what chemistry and all that stuff is about. Seriously, it's like a foreign language. So <laughs> that's why I really gotta buck up. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I really just want to sit back and enjoy life. But I gotta be patient. That's what I have to keep telling myself. I'm gonna take my dreams into my own hands. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do some more studying and then get a job. But after that, we should totally hang out again. We can invite everyone from the track team too. Ooh, how about we have a drinking party? Since we'll all be adults by then. <laughs> um... Well, anyway, I'll be focusing only on my studies for now. So don't try to tempt me with anything. You were just trying to tempt me with a drinking party. Today, I'm going to work on three subjects at once. Impressive, right? Good job. Whoops, I better get going. I still need to buy dinner. We'll see ya. Bye. What's going to be interesting is seeing how the interactions with, with Mitsuru and Akihiko go considering a lot of these friendships still stay the same, for sure. Oh, hey, it's Mr. Ono. I'm guessing he's gonna be talking about Bebe. But a lot of these school friendships stayed the same because they weren't related to the Dark Hour. But for, like, Mitsuru and Akihiko, do I still have that same connection? Same with Fuka. I, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see. Andre... Laurent... Andre... Laurent Jean Garo. <sighs> Pretty sure it's probably Laurent Jean, Jean, more than likely. Oh, too long. A samurai's name should be simple and short. Oh, you. This letter was sent to the school. It looks like it's addressed to one of our students. Wait, is this actually for you? Well, the writing's so shaky, I didn't recognize your name. It's from an Andre... something. <laughs> I don't recall the student with such a foreign name. The only one that comes to mind is Bebe. The sender's name is listed as Andre Laurent Jean Giraud. It's from Bebe. I should read this letter. Hello. It is me, Bebe. I'm very glad that he voiced these lines so I didn't have to read it in a French accent. Bebe's unsteady scribbles filled the page. I can picture Bebe's smiling face. Writing in your language is difficult, so forgive me if it is hard to read. I learned a lot in Japan, 
but uh, I still need lots of help. I write this with a uh, dictionary. I showed uncle the kimono. He said many wonderful things about it. He said Japan is a great country. I was thrilled to hear it. So I tell uncle that I want to go back to Japan. I tell him over and over. Finally, he says, okay. I can really feel Bebe's joy coming through in his letter. But I decided not to go back. I am sorry. I said I would come back, but it was a lie. I didn't know. My aunt was not the only one who helped me study abroad. Uncle, relatives, neighbors, so many people helped me. They all wanted me to go back. They said they would help pay for it. But uncle is sad after he lost my aunt. While uncle grieves, I would not be able to enjoy myself in Japan. I cannot take everyone's money for my own fun. Besides, I can learn about Japan here in France too. And so in France I will stay. Hmm. Someday I will return to Japan on my own without anyone's help. Very mature of you, Bebe. I can feel the determination in Bebe's words. I reflected on how fun it was to make clothes with you. So I enrolled in fashion school. I made some clothes for the school contest. And I won first prize. Nice. I have come up with a name for my winning design. A very wonderful name, I think. You named a dress after me? That's so... So mean. Now everybody's gonna think that that dress is, is me and now I'm just... I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a name that means a lot to me. Japan and France. You and me. All so far apart. But I am always here for you. No amount of distance will ever change that. Every day was so much fun. More fun than I have ever had. I hope I get to see you again someday to my precious friend, Bebe. The words near the end are smudged. Oh, very sweet. It's a good guy, that baby. It's her super fan. Did you ever finally work up the guts to talk to her? Remember that incident about a month ago where everyone was standing outside in the middle of the night? I also went outside, but I don't remember what I was doing at all. Maybe it was because I was just worried about Kirijo Senpai moving to another country. Uh, of course. Oh, are you going home? You look a bit pale. Are you doing all right? No, not really. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Maybe you should rest in the nurse's office before you leave. Oh God, does that mean I gotta talk to Edagawa? I was actually about to head to the faculty office. Would you like me to walk you downstairs? Let's do it. Sounds good. People often get sick when the seasons change, so maybe you're coming down with something. Okay, let's head over to the faculty office together. Yamagishi, what are you doing outside the faculty office? What are you still doing here, Ikoda? How do you still have a job after all the awful stuff you did? Oh, well, I, I want to start a tech club. Hell yeah. Tech gloves. Oh my god. Can somebody get a real teacher here, please? Are you referring to technician's gloves? I think you'd have to go to a hardware store for those. Um, not tech gloves. A tech club. Like a club all about technology and electronics. I wonder if in Japanese, club and gloves sound similar. So I wonder if that joke was still the same even there. You want to start a club now? Why is it always you, Yamagishi? Look, it's already March. Can't you at least wait until April? Huh? But I really want to get this group going. I promise I'll do my best to find members and all that. So, do I have your permission to start the club? What? You don't even have any members yet? Then it's not even worth discussing. You can't start a club without at least five members. Now, I must be going. You want me to go punch him in the face for you? And he's gone. Well, looks like I need to find five people now. Uh, would you like to join my tech club? 
Of course. Yes! I'm so happy to hear that. I mean, I know nothing about technology, but I'll be there to at least, you know, make up the numbers. I was hoping you'd help me. You know, I used to think it was wrong for me to like electronics. I always kept it to myself. Yes, I thought it was a strange thing for a girl to be interested in. But you and the team accepted me for who I am. The team? That's why I decided to be strong and let everyone see my true self. What are you talking about the team for? So even if people think I'm strange, I know it's okay. I don't want to hide it anymore. Now, I want to meet more people like me and hang out with them. Since I kept my love of electronics hidden, I never had any friends who shared my interests. That's why I thought I'd try starting a club all about it. Because maybe there are other people out there who like this stuff too. And if so, I want a way to talk to them. I do admit I'm a little nervous though. But don't worry, I'll still keep going to art club. It'll probably get really busy, but I want to keep trying. It's like jumping off the diving board at the pool. That kind of feeling. So when she says team, is she talking about art club? Because nobody should remember the dark. I mean, obviously all of us still have, like we saw Junpei slightly remembering Chidori and stuff like that, but nobody remembers it right now, seemingly. So the fact that she said team feels kind of weird. Feels like a bit of a plot hole. Anyways, I've got to find some club members. Hmm. Do I need to make recruitment posters and stuff? You've got this. Yes, thank you. To be honest, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. We're going to be third year soon. And that means everyone will have to start thinking about what they want to do after we graduate. In fact, Iori-kun and Yukari-chan were talking about college entrance exams just the other day. But you know what? I think I'll be okay. I have everyone here to support me, so there's nothing to be afraid of. Hell yeah. Oh, everyone? I keep saying it. But who am I talking about? Okay. Okay, so... She was just saying it earlier. And she didn't react the first time, and now all of a sudden she's like, wait, what? Um, sorry. Don't mind me. Oh, I didn't realize it was so late. I hope the stores are still open. Let's see, I need paper. Oh, and I need to find a club room, too. I think this might be more work than I thought. Sorry, I need to get going. I'll see you later. Bye, Fuka. Now we've got Chihiro. Are you okay? You don't look so good. You should get home and rest before it gets worse. Why do I look sick? Right now, I... um... Oh, sorry. This isn't the time to talk about that. What is it? Hmm. Um, I suppose I can tell you. It's nothing important, though. Look at this flyer over here. The dark history of student-teacher romance? What? Uh, People are free to fall in love with who they want. There's nothing wrong with that. Um... I can see why it would be a problem if it was between a teacher and a student, but... Yeah, <laughs> that would be really weird. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Right? That doesn't give them the right to make fun of it like this. I'm going to write a letter of protest to the school paper. Oh, I'll be alright on my own. <laughs> I'm going to do this by myself. Thank you, Senpai. There's one thing I've decided for myself. It's not much, but I'd like to continue on the student council for next year, too. It was because of you that I was able to change. I know that for a fact. And I never would have met you if I hadn't joined the student council. That's why I want to stay involved. At least, I hope I can. <sighs> I want to become strong and reliable, just like the student council president. Oh yeah. That's why I want to join the student council next year, and the year after that too. It's a big goal, but I'm going to take it one step at a time. Well then, I should be going. Bye, a hero. Oh. Looking forward to seeing you next year, too. Of course. 
How you doing, Akahiko? Do you remember me at all? Hey. It's quite rare for us to bump into each other here, isn't it? True. What brings you here? That's true. I guess it's because I usually go straight to practice after class. But today, I felt like looking around the school before heading over. After all, this is my last day here. And days flew by in the blink of an eye. But at the same time, it felt like this year would last for an eternity. <laughs> I've dedicated all three years of high school to boxing, and nothing else. Hmm. Was there really nothing else? It, yes. Never mind. It's nothing. Remember, Akihiko. Remember. If I could do anything close to a James Earl Jones impression, that would be a great time to do that. Just that my voice doesn't go that deep. <laughs> Remember. Who you are. It's the best I got. I guess hanging out with everyone at the dorm counts as something. We even made pancakes together. Pancakes? Somebody call it catchy. We had some good times. If we hadn't lived in the same dorm, we might have never met each other. It's true. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> I'll be leaving the dorm soon. But that doesn't change the fact that I'll always be your senpai. If you ever run into trouble, you can tag me in. Whatever happens, I'm on your side. Hell yeah. Appreciate that, Akihiko. Do you remember Shinji? Ah, uh, I mean Naragaki. <laughs> I do. Shinji was supposed to graduate with me. <sighs> I still can't believe that he was dragged into that incident. Incident? What incident? What? What do they remember it as now? I wonder. Oh, hey, what happened to those apathy syndrome people? Just a while ago? It's like everyone in town at it. Kind of felt like the world was going to end. Oh, wait, I'm busy messaging my friends, so tell me about it later. I wonder what kind of chemistry we'll be doing as third years. I can't wait. Thank you for all your insightful wisdom, artist student. Ah, are you okay? You don't look well. All right, what is going on? Why do I not look well? I hope it's not anemia. Should we get you to the nurse's office? What, what's happening that is making me feel or look sick? Though, actually, that might be a bit hard for me. I guess I'll just tell you. So, I took the exam for the medical school I was hoping to go to, and I failed. Aww. I guess this is my first real failure in life. <laughs> so, starting in the spring, I'll be a student in training. I'll have to keep studying hard every day. That's definitely a good way to take failure, though. Good luck next time. Don't push yourself. Nah. You got it next I time for I sure. Did badly, but exams tend to have a luck factor to them too. Hmm. The old me would have just given up. I don't exactly have the strongest willpower, but now it's a different story. I want to be a doctor and save as many lives as I can. I want to protect the people I love. There are a lot of different ways I can accomplish that, and the way I want to do it is through the power of healing. So from now on, I won't lose focus. Awesome. Next year, I'm going to try again. And I'll pass with flying colors. I believe it. Thank you. I think it was because of your help that I've changed so much. I'll be graduating a year earlier than you. But I won't forget about you. Awesome. Really cool to see some of these stories come to an end. Kaz? Oh, good timing, man. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. I went back to the hospital to get a checkup on my knee. The results are in. <laughs> it's 100% healed. It's hey. I doing all I want now. Awesome. Dude. I was so happy. I almost broke the doctor's back. I hugged him so hard. Honestly, his is a story that I don't remember as well because he was the first social link that I finished, I think. One of the first ones. But it's always great to hear that somebody recovered from an injury 100% because so often athletes, they, they never really fully recover. You know, they've always got that little bit of an issue that just carries through for so long. But thinking about it now... How would things have gone if I'd kept running through the pain? I was pushing too hard, only thinking about myself. I got pissed off when things didn't go my way. So I threw out the advice I got and shot my knee to hell. Man, I was such a moron. At least I can see it now. Well, and honestly, that's the best you can hope for. You make a mistake, you learn from it, and you look back and go, eh, I was stupid back then, but not anymore. I kept saying it was all for my nephew, but in the end, it was just about my own damn pride. I got you, everyone on the team, and my parents all worried about me. I didn't even stop to notice. I was a real selfish brat. 
Don't worry about it. <laughs> you really were. <laughs> oh, God. Thanks, man. Well, it took me this long, but at least I finally snapped out of it. Thanks, man. It's because of you I'm standing here on two feet. I swear, things will be different from here on out. I want to repay you all for what you've done for me. No more stubborn pride. I'm going to listen to what others have to say. Even when it's not what I want to hear. Awesome. Well, that's about it. I just wanted you to be the one I break the news to first. I'll run around to the faculty office and club room later to let everyone else know. Have a good one. Good for you, Kaz. Hey, Toshi. Oh, it's you. You don't look so good. Is the weather getting to you? It's been getting warmer. What is going on? Why? Why? Explain! It's already March. Hmm. There's something I wanted to tell you. Well... We're in the same grade, so I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to talk. Even so, I wanted to say this while we're both still on the student council. I'm going to quit. What? Well, this semester is just about wrapping up. All this means is I'm not going to apply next year. That cigarette business gave me a lot to think about. This may sound odd, but do you think this country is headed in the right direction? I don't know much about Japanese politics, but a lot about American politics. My answer would be no. <laughs> I think so. I doubt it. I don't know. I think so. I see. Well, I feel differently. You're an optimistic man, so maybe society looks different through your eyes. Up until January, there was a sinister cult growing in popularity. A society without a future. For many people out there, that's the reality. That's really weird to think about, because that all happened because of Nyx and the Dark Hour and all of that stuff. So now that none of that existed, the fact that there was still a cult it's like, why were, why were we in that cult again? Maybe some of them still believe that way. But like Takaya, I mean, I wonder if we're going to see him anywhere and see what he is like now. I was thinking how we could change that and what it would take to change society. My answer to that used to be reform by those in power. I thought that was the only way. But starting a revolution just because you have the power to do so creates more problems. Yup. That's what the cigarette incident taught me. I realized how naive I had been, and it helped me arrive at a different answer. I think the best thing for society is education. Every last individual that makes up our society should have a right to education of heart and mind. I really believe that's what we need the most. And so, I'm thinking of becoming a teacher. Hey! A society is shaped by its people. Every person I help grow helps society grow by extension. You're not going to laugh and tell me I'm dreaming? I, honestly, it makes sense. And maybe a little. I won't do that. I see. Well, I plan to do my best. <laughs> That's all I wanted to tell you. That, and to say thanks. This was all because of you. So, thank you. Awesome. I'm proud of you. How you doing, school store vendor? Welcome. You're practically a regular here, aren't you? What will you have today? Oh dear. Hey, you all right? You're pale as a sheet. Tomorrow's the graduation ceremony. Maybe you should go home and get some rest. What is going on? Track team advisor. Is this for Haas? Or not oh, Haas? I was just looking for you. <laughs> I, I combined Hayase and Kaz together to get Haas. <laughs> this came for you. Yeah. It's from Hayase. I bet his school is sorry he's gone. Oof, he was a heck of an athlete. But it's good news for us. Well, there's nothing standing between us and total victory. Well, I'll see you around. Received a letter from Hayase. I better read it. Back to the How's roof. Going? I don't know your address, so I'm sending this to the school. Hayase's firm handwriting fills the page. I can almost see Hayase's face. It's this is weird to me, because they said the same thing for Bebe, right? I can almost see his smiling face. So I expected to see their head pop up on the side as if they're talking. But they didn't do it for Bebe, so I don't expect to see it for Hayase either. I'm doing good. I'm starting to get used to the job too. The real reason I'm writing is because of track. Before I'd pretty much given up hope of ever continuing. Except there was a part of me that refused to let it go. I don't care what it sounds like. Track and field was my whole life. I can tell Hayase was in a good mood when he wrote that. I guess the factory manager realized what's up and he wants to help me out. We're gonna make a track team here. 
Well, I call it a team, but it's really just a few guys at the factory. We practice after work and sometimes on our days off. The other day we did endurance swimming at Lake Biwa. We've even climbed Mount Hiei. Damn. We don't have fancy equipment like before, so we're not as efficient. But I'm still having a blast. Most of the guys are just in it for fun, so I don't really get to do any serious training. But I guess it'll even the playing field for them. How about you? You're still at it, right? I'm sure you're just gonna keep getting better and better. It's weird how badly I want to see you improve. Look, one day, you and I are gonna go at it again. And if I'm gonna be a good rival, then I've got a lot of work to do. It feels nice having a goal to work toward. Almost forgot what it was like. Oh yeah, and my mom's getting better. She's in a long-term care facility with lots of fresh air. That's awesome. My relatives and friends come by the house, so my siblings are in good hands too. Things have been pretty great these days. I feel like I can take care of the people who matter to me. It's really fulfilling. And I get to feel that way because of you. So, thank you. Can't wait to see you again. Hmm. Letter ends there. Hayase is probably one of my favorite social links in this game. Because there's just such a nice maturity about the way he approaches. Like the idea of being a rival and stuff like that. Like, he uses it to push himself. I don't know. I really like that one. And also just, I mean, the, the maturity of his decision. You know, trying to help his family and stuff. He's been through a lot. Anyways. Mitsuru. What's the matter? You don't look well. Are you tired? Try not to overdo it. I don't know what's wrong. I didn't even realize that I looked tired and sick, but apparently I just do. Uh, I'm sorry. I should try not to call you that in public. Are we still dating in this timeline? <sighs> if you don't mind... Could we have a little chat someplace else? I have some business to take care of later on, but I'd like to talk with you until then. Sure. Thank you. In that case, why don't we go to the student council room? I'd like to see it one last time. This room feels so nostalgic, even though the entrance exams have only kept me away for a short while. <sighs> The results haven't been posted yet, but I'm fairly confident that I passed. I'm pretty confident that you did too. If that's the case, then this spring I'll formally become a college student. And that means I'll no longer be seeing this view. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to spare today. The company heads are conducting a briefing. The Kirijo group may appear strong, but it's actually rather frail. It could collapse at any time. Hmm. I have to keep it together. Don't push yourself any way I can help. Any way I can help? <laughs> of course. In fact, there's something that only you can do. Who else is going to help me clear my head when I need a change of pace? <laughs> it's thanks to you that I learned to feel comfortable in my own skin, beyond my identity as a Kirijo. Before long, I'll be taking my leave from the dorm as well. I've begun packing up my things, but I haven't made significant progress. I know that feeling. My books, my clothes, my photos. Every one of them brings back memories. It's been a short but eventful three years. It all went by so fast, especially the year that you came. Whenever we spoke or passed each other in the dorm, I felt like my heart would burst. I never knew I had these emotions just waiting to be given permission to be felt. I wonder what would have become of me if you hadn't transferred to the school. If I hadn't met you, would I have gone through with the arranged marriage? Or would I have gotten on my motorcycle and left it all behind? Good question. Fate is a mysterious thing. Well, there's no point in dwelling on the past. There are things that need to be done for the future of the Kirijo group, as well as my own. And for your future as well. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Come introduce yourself to the heads of the family sometime. Don't worry, you'd only be saying hello. I'd just like them to know who you are. Well, it's almost time. I'd best be on my way. I'd love to see you back at the dorm, but I'll be out late tonight. Perhaps this weekend, just the two of us? Hell yeah. <laughs> Who else will lend me their shoulder when I need a little support? You're the only one who can do this for me. 
it sounds like a lot of this dialogue is because we're a couple. Go on. Try and name someone who could do the same. <laughs> Was that a bit much? Well, now you know how serious I am. I need you in my life. <laughs> well, we'll see. Now then, if you'll excuse me. I'm pretty sure I only have one more person to see here, and that is at the faculty office. Hear Miss Toriyumi's voice from inside. I try to talk to her. Enter. Anyway, you've been different lately, Miss Toriyumi. You're looking more and more like a professional. I know that voice. That's Wendy Lee. I didn't realize she was the voice for Miss Teriyuchi. Your lesson the other day really caught my eye. It seemed like you spent a lot of time preparing it. I've never seen you so passionate about teaching before. And I'm pretty sure Wendy Lee, I think she took over for Fuka after, or in any of the spin-off games that Persona 3 had. It's unparalleled. Unparalleled? Well, yes, I have been studying while making preparations lately. Things like how to best communicate the lessons I'm looking to teach. <laughs> I guess it does seem kind of out of the blue, huh? <sighs> the thing is, I've decided to stop wasting my time only looking at what's right in front of me. How wonderful! I'm impressed by your change of heart. What brought this on? Well, when I was just goofing off one weekend, I met someone. After that, I took a closer look at my life. That person... Wait. They were real, right? They had to be. Ah, uh, yes, I understand. I myself once had a similar epiphany. Now that I think about it, I met my darling husband thanks to a destiny called fate. A <laughs> uh, destiny called fate? Isn't that a bit redundant? Besides, you should be careful what you say to a single woman. <laughs> anyway, if you'll excuse me. Teachers seem busy. Should get out of the way. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, is everything okay? Do you need something? You don't look well. Uh, maybe you should go to the nurse's... Yes, yes, I know. Uh, wait, you dropped something. What? Huh? This phone wallpaper! Now, now, mister. No cell phones at school. Hmm? That screen. I read downward. Love you. <laughs> My! What a charming confession of love! Did you make this? It, it's from my girlfriend. No, it was made by... Dot, dot, dot. Definitely not somebody here. No, it was made by... kid is talking about la 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 <laughs> i can't hear you i can't hear you oh my god <laughs> uh, tori yumi never mind that what's going on why do you have this screen cap oh. oh don't don't tell me you got it online the only ones who were on that server were oh. yes i am whatever his name was uh tat tatsuya something <gasps> Uh, do you want to have this conversation somewhere else without another teacher right here? There's no way. Are you kidding? No! No! <laughs> Calm down, Miss Toriyumi. <laughs> Help! Someone call a doctor! Oh my god. Uh, don't tell me. Hey, it is Tatsuya. You're Tatsuya? I... I said all that to you? I... I... Oh, no, 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 no! It's, it's fine. I'm, I'm not going to say anything. It's funny, but it's fine. God. Oh, I can't live with this. Just kill me now. 
please calm down. <laughs> Hello, Maya-san. <laughs> Hello, Maya-san. So... You really are... <laughs> um... I... I'm... <laughs> Maya! I'm Maya. I, I'm... I know. It's me, damn it! You got a problem with that? <sighs> Why don't you say something? Jeez, you idiot. This is so embarrassing. Ugh. But there was one thing I wanted to say. If we ever met face to face. I... I was able to turn my life around thanks to you. So, um... Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Um, smile off your face or I'll wipe <laughs> it off for you with my fists. Uh, never change, Toriyumi. Never change. Anyway, um, if you don't mind. If you don't mind. Uh, maybe we could have dinner? <laughs> Go to hell with this! <laughs> oh, that was... That was hilarious. Uh, I vaguely remember Mr. Edogawa's long supplementary lectures here. I just wanted to check and see. Ken! Oh, I still haven't gone out front. Right, right, right. Hey, Ken! Oh, Senpai. I'm glad I found you. It was kind of nerve-wracking to come to the high school campus all by myself. Anyway, I'm here to drop off something Sonata-san forgot. He's usually so put together, but sometimes he can be just a little scatterbrained. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, he's already left, I think. Speaking of forgetfulness, do you remember someone named Aragaki-san? He was at the dorm for a little while. I didn't really talk with him all that much. But whenever he crosses my mind, I feel this ache in my chest. And unbearably sad. It's as if I've forgotten something important, though I'm not sure what. I get the feeling that there was something I had to do. I just don't know what it is or why I feel this way. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry about that. You're really easy to talk to, so I kept going on and on. I appreciate that you always listen to what I have to say, though, Senpai. Of course. You even went with me to buy tea, and you don't treat me like I'm just a little kid. So, um, thanks for everything. Yeah, I can. Still just a kid, aren't I? I wish there was a way for me to grow up more quickly. No matter how grown up I try to act, people still end up protecting me. There's always someone sheltering me. I wonder if I'll ever be strong enough to protect someone else instead. Well, of course, I mean, you're only, what, 10? 11? And you'll, you'll grow up eventually. Waiting, student? Are you waiting for someone? I'm waiting for my boyfriend. He's gonna walk me home today. I'm not feeling as anxious as I used to. Oh, well, good for you. Very curious, student? I'll be a third year soon, which means I'll be studying for exams every single day. That doesn't mean I'm giving up the hunt for mysterious stuff like that observatory. Having an inquisitive mind is important for people. That's what makes me so interesting to talk to. Yeah, that's why I talk to you so, so much. My third year is just around the corner. Time flies, huh? Is it the whole year stalking and being stalked? Uh, I have to spend my time more wisely next year. And what about you? Uh, I'll be a third year soon. And then all I'll be doing is studying for my entrance exams. That's gonna suck. I mean, how am I gonna be able to study if I can't stop thinking about her? Poor guy. Alright, how are you two getting along? It's been a year, huh? That was fast. Nothing's really happened with us in that year. Ugh. God. The year went by quickly. It's true that nothing changed in the past year, but I'm not too worried about that. He's just a straightforward kind of guy. That's the way I like him. Glad you guys are happy. Up, oh, lazy student. My favorite character. How are you doing? Studying is so much work. But there's this college I really want to get into, so... I guess I'll put in the effort. Oh god, no, you've grown. You had an arc. God, lazy student, you betrayed me. You were the chosen one! Some real weird crap happened a month ago, huh? Like, when all those people went outside at midnight, what was that all about? Though, to be honest, it was kind of cool. It felt like the climax of a movie. Glad you're happy. Oh yeah, those apathy syndrome people disappeared. I wonder why. Well, I don't really care as long as the trains run on time. Welcome! Oh, it's you. Thanks for always coming by. 
It's almost the season for cherry blossoms. Do you know the meaning of cherry blossom flowers? It's, they say it's don't forget about me. Spring is supposed to represent new beginnings. I wonder why it's flower meaning is so sad. Your guess is as good as mine. So nice to come back here and there's no... No posters and stuff. How are you guys? Dude, do you remember anything we did this entire past year? I just remember Chility. That's it. Man, I hate to say this, but what a waste of time. Heh. <laughs> Looks like that cold is history after those three weirdos are sent packing. Everything's finally back to normal. I'm bored as hell, but it's better than going through all that shit again. Who are you? Suspicious, man. Oh, hey. I didn't expect to see you somewhere other than the club. There's been a lot of discussion on the internet lately about cults and mysterious incidents. But I'm sure whoever knows what's really going on isn't on the internet. Besides, even if there were an explanation, I'm not sure I could trust it. What's true and what's false? Those who cannot discern the difference will not survive. I can't believe I forgot about you, suspicious man. I'm so sorry. How you doing, cheery old man? It's getting warm now. It's almost springtime. Puts me in the mood to look for a new sweetheart or something. Gamer student? I've completed the collection. My friend was surprised too. Well, good for you. Hey. Oh, hey, it's you. Why do you look so grim? You come here a lot, don't you? You shouldn't rely so much on medicine, you know. You're still young. You should build strength by exercising, eating well, and doing schoolwork. Don't worry obsessively about your health. That's the doctor's job. Ha <laughs> ha! I mean, I didn't come here that often. Welcome. Sorry, but we're closed today. Oh wait, you're the weird kid who comes by often. You're an odd one to be this interested in antiques at your age. Especially since you're always getting... <sighs> what was it? Sorry, my memory hasn't been great lately. Come visit again tomorrow. I'll try to remember by then. Okay. Oh, no velvet room. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, it's you. School over already? It's been a long time since we just talked like this. Sorry, I don't quite remember how things went down. Well, in any case, the months are going to go by quickly. Make sure you enjoy your school life so you don't have any regrets. Ah, the bartender. Aren't you the boy who used to talk to the monk upstairs? Indeed. He actually called here trying to reach you. Uh, seems like he was wondering how you were doing. Come to think of it, I think he left a message for you. What was it he said again? Hey, hey, don't give me that look. Just hang on a sec. Ah, found it. Here you go. I actually wrote it all down. Didn't think I had it in me, did you? Let's see. Oh, man, the handwriting is awful. Who the hell wrote this? <laughs> I found my wife and son. My son's still a good-for-nothing punk, and my wife is frigid as usual. She's like an old witch. What do you want? I'm on the phone! Hey, don't write this down, right? <laughs> Lots happened, but I apologized a thousand times, and I worked to make things right. I guess you could say we fell in love all over again. I realized. Instead of holding on to my pride, I needed to just suck it up and apologize. And it's all thanks to you. Well, you take care, kid. If it's meant to be, we'll see each other again. That's the gist of it. I'm pretty sure I got everything he said. Oh, and don't bother asking for a number. He didn't say. I will say your impression of him is really, really good. That was almost exactly like him. But like he said, you'll see him again if it's meant to be. Don't they say, like, fate lies in God's hands or something? Oh, wait, that'd be Buddha for the monk. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's that. If fate does bring you two back together, why don't you come party over here again? Yeah, sure. Why not? Good to hear he's doing well. Oh, got a familiar man here. Hmm? You're... Ah, it's you, right? I'm... Maiko's father, if you remember. Do you have a minute to talk? I've been dwelling a little on what happened. All right. Perfect. Uh, if you don't mind, let's take a walk down to the takoyaki stand. I'll buy you some. My treat. The food there sure is good. But you knew that already, didn't you? I did. When I see this place, I remember all the times I'd come here with Maiko. She came here when she ran away from home, too. She really loved the takoyaki. She's a good girl. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. <laughs> what she was the other one. <laughs> she's so good that I wonder if she's really my own child sometimes. She actually sent me a letter recently. 
It's chock full of details about her new life. She said she's made a lot of friends. Let's see. She's in charge of the rabbits at her new school and has had to get up early to clean the cages. They scolded her for forgetting her PE uniform. She forgot her homework and had to copy her friends. I guess she can be a bit absent-minded. I never knew that about her. Oh, and she did so well on her recorder test that she was asked to perform in front of everyone. Aww. Then she went on to talk about how she plays at the park by the school with her friends every day. Her mother's doing well, too. They're having a lot of fun together. <sighs> having fun. Must be nice. Nowadays, I just come home to an empty house. The rooms feel so big without those two around. I wonder if she feels the same way, living in a home with no father in it. Uh, we put her through so much because of our own problems. I feel terrible about it. By the way, I've actually got a bone to pick with you, too. Oh, really? You want to go right now? I'll kick your ass, I swear. Maiko must have really liked you, huh? She wrote all about it. I can't wait to grow up. That's why I'm drinking lots of milk. <laughs> I'm going to marry him someday. Oh, God. What the hell is that about you, little punk? Look, it's not my fault, okay? I, I'm the main character, okay? Girls are just naturally attracted to me. I can't help it. To be fair, I would never do anything about it, especially while we're this young. You were taking advantage of my little Maiko, weren't you? Maybe I haven't been the best dad, but I'm still her father, damn it. And I'm not letting a guy like you touch my daughter with a ten-foot pole. I'll never let you marry her. And don't you forget it. Okay, bye. Oh, God. Right, back to the shrine, because... Oh, middle-aged lady, what's going on here? Hello there. Oh, excuse me, are you... Yes. <laughs> So it was you. Oh, excuse me. I'm Miss Kamiki. Oh. Akinari's mother. My son talked about you a lot. Okay, are we going to talk about how you just faded into, like, nothing? I was just thinking about him. If you have time, would you like to stay and talk for a while? Sure. That's wonderful. Please, sit down. I like how I said sure before the option even popped up and then... That was, that was what I wanted to say. Today is a special day. What a coincidence seeing you today. It must be another one of God's whims. Today is my son's, Akinari's birthday. He'd be 20 if he was still alive. Only 19 years. Hmm. It was too soon. He was almost an adult. But he never made it. Akinari had a genetic disease. I'm completely healthy. But him... The doctors detected it when he was born. They knew he wouldn't live to see adulthood. Every day, I worried whether he'd wake up the next morning. I blamed myself for what he inherited. But... He said something to me near the end. I'm sorry to have brought so much pain into your life, Mother. I'm glad that I was born into this world. I'm glad to have been your son. Thank you for the life you've given me. He, he suffered so much, and yet he still said that to me. Akinari brought me so much happiness, too. Feeling his warmth as I carried him in my arms after he was born. Those tiny hands. <laughs> that first smile. What are you trying to do to me, game? Are you trying to, like, just rip my heart out and smash it into tiny little pieces? Hearing his breathing as he slept at night. Every day, I was so grateful he was alive. <laughs> Every day... I found new joy in him. Now, I'm so alone, and there's nothing I can do. But my boy gave me so much. I have to keep going, looking straight ahead. 
That's how I want to live. I'll eat the finest foods, visit the most exotic places. I'll do everything, absolutely everything that Akinari couldn't. I'll have so many stories to tell him about the things I've done. On that day, when we meet again on the other side, if I didn't have that to look forward to, I don't know how I could go on. That reminds me. When my son's condition worsened, he started writing a children's story. But when I was cleaning out his room, I never found his notebook. He said he wanted you to be the first one to see it when he was done. Then he laughed and said I would be second. <laughs> I suppose he wasn't able to finish the story. He did finish it. I have the notebook. What? My son, he gave it to you? I explained how I received the notebook from Kamiki and that I heard the entire story. I... I see. So you did. I'm so glad. That was my only regret. It was awful to think that he wasn't able to finish his project. Oh, you should hold on to his notebook. I'm sure that's what he would want to. I'll hear the story from him directly when I see him on the other side. Now I have one more thing to look forward to. Very sweet. I'm glad I could finally meet you. Thank you. Before I go, let this old woman give you one piece of advice. Take good care of the ones you hold dear. If you wait until their day comes, it's too late. Clinging to their cold bodies won't bring them back. Everyone who's born will die someday, not just Akinari. Or me, or even you. It's all the same. So before that happens, it doesn't take a grand gesture. You don't have to make a big production of it. But if you love someone, let them know it. Yeah. We Words all of advice. go through life with the same struggles. The same heartbreak. We should all lift each other up with the same love and kindness as well. I'm sure you have something precious you can share with people too. Don't ever forget it. It's a very touching story. Kamiki's mother left without looking back. Ah. Uh, leisurely businessman, how are you doing? I decided to get another job. I've been keeping it secret from my wife and daughter. So even if I don't succeed, I've got a plan B. I guess that's how the world works. People think nothing of ruining someone else's life. I've just got to do my best. I'll deal with what happens when it comes. What about you kids? Are you satisfied with your lives? Hey, Bukichi and Mitsuko. Well, well, look who it is. It's been a while. You've grown so much since the last time I saw you. Now, now, dear. They don't grow that fast. What must have happened is that we shrank. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that how it is? Looks like you got one over on me. Say, you, you know our old shop here, uh, Bookworms? I'm thinking it's due for a makeover. Really? Something fresh, avant-garde. I can't let Gekku Khan's new school building hog the spotlight. Good idea. Ain't it? I'll hash out some plans with my dear and make this place even better. Speaking of the new school building, they've decided to replant the persimmon tree. Aw, that's sweet. It'll be moved to a special location on a hill overlooking the whole campus. Our dear boy will be able to watch over those students for many more years to come. I know the tree isn't actually our son, and yet... Ever since my dear Damn heard it, the sorry. news, she's turned into a leaky faucet. Come on, give me a smile. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. <laughs> Please, dear. 
I think your dentures are falling out. Anyhow, we'll be supporting the GeckoCon students with renewed strength in our hearts. Looking at you again, you really did grow, didn't you? You've overcome great hardships, I can tell. Come back and visit us anytime. We'd always love to see you. Of course. Glad you guys are doing well. Rumor loving girl, what final crazy things do you have to tell me? Did you eat the special Hagakari ramen? I heard that if you eat it with a friend, you'll be friends forever. It might just be another rumor, but when I'm as old as you, I'm going to have some with my friends. Okay. Gourmet magazine reporter, I'm guessing this is for, what's his face? Suomitsu? I heard he had a hand in the hidden menu at Hagakure as well. Oh, yes. I have heard the same story. They say he tried a bite of some dish. Then he said... It could use some fish flakes. So they put some in, and sure enough, it was delicious. Now, it's an item on our hidden menu. I'm a big fan of it myself. I had him come up with some ideas for Wokatsu, too. Yes, he's the one. Suemitsu can put our coffee on the map, too. Sure, his appearance and behavior are... How should I say this? Eccentric? But he knows <laughs> everything about food, and his palate is refined. He's in a league of his own among gourmands. There's not a restaurateur around here who doesn't know him. Is he that famous? So when you heard he was planning to leave to tour the country... I was shocked and disappointed, of course. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well for himself. I hear he's got a book coming out. It's very exciting. Even when he's far away, I can still feel him. Uh, wait, don't run that. Are the rumors <laughs> about a King Suimitsu statue being built in this shopping district true? Wow, I mean, talk about a huge turnaround for him. <laughs> oh, yes, I can't wait. I'll be rubbing it every day for good luck. Um. Oh, are you a student from the area? Do you mind if we get a few words from you? Are you familiar with a high school student known as the Gourmet King? We went to the same school. He's my best friend. I don't know him. I wouldn't qualify him as my best friend. Oh, your uniform. So he went to GeckoCon High then. Thanks for your time. I'd love a chance to meet him myself one day. The interview continues. Good for him. Boy's mother. I'm not fond of animals, it's true, but after seeing my son get that serious about it, I feel like I should give it a chance anyway. I wish I would have made that decision earlier. Oh, that cat? He's not here. My mom said it was okay to take him home, and I came the next day to pick him up, but he was gone. That means he was free, right? So I bet things will be better for him this way. It's okay. I won't look for him. I know he's doing great somewhere out there. Poor boy. Octopia? Come on over. Hey, come over here, young man. My takoyaki is both delicious and cheap. How about some? What's wrong? You're awfully quiet. Whoa, you look pale. You should probably go home and get some rest. It'd be bad for business if you ate my takoyaki and then passed out. Why do I look so sick? All right, precocious girl. My teacher is quiet, but he's so nice. He's the greatest. When our graduation comes, I'm going to tell him how grateful I am. Oh, things have turned around for her. She likes her teacher now. I thought about following Nick Shama to see if I could get my family back, but that wouldn't have helped. It was my fault sticking with this job and ignoring them. I was thinking about going to see my wife and trying to patch things up with her. Oh, good for you. Koromaru. Seems like Koromaru is worried about me. Probably look like a mess. It's okay, I'm fine. Koromaru's expression has brightened. Seems relieved. That's it? Koromaru isn't budging from his spot. Guess he won't be leaving anytime soon. Well, I think I've been everywhere. I talked to them. I talked to the bartender. I talked to those three. So I think I'm going to save first. Save down here, lucky number seven. And we'll, we'll see. Maybe I should head inside. It's evening time. TV has been left on. Showing the news right now. Coming up next, a special report on the Amazing Commodities Corporation, producer of Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Oh, God. 
President Tanaka has made an undisclosed private expenditure that caused quite a stir in the media. With us is our reporter live on scene. Take it away. I'm reporting from the amazing commodities head office where a swarm of journalists has convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air is thick. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to updates as things unfold. Back to the studio. The unaccounted for expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize he is guilty of tax evasion. Oh, no question. This is President Tanaka we're talking about. All he cares about is lining his own pockets, and he does it by swindling his own viewers. He could become the richest man on the planet and still never be satisfied. It's not Why wrong. doesn't he donate some of that money for a change? Damn Scrooge. W well, I'm sure he's not as bad as all that. Oh, this just in. Something's happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. <laughs> he's carrying a microphone. It, it looks like he's about to sing. Ready to go in your TV, Tanaka's commodities. Everybody's ultimate friend in greed. Hi, everyone. Amazing Commodities is here for you year round. Rain or shine, we have a monopoly on the cheapest, highest quality goods. Our customers shout for joy so loud it's considered noise pollution. Our stocks rise so high they're a hazard to birds. And we make losers every day out of people who don't buy. We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world. That's the amazing commodities guarantee. We look forward to your business. President Tanaka's car drove off. Oh, he he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a reporter? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, you're just giving him free advertising. We'll have to interrupt you there, as we've just received a fax. It... it's from President Tanaka. The message reads... Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. And what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money, so what's it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I am not ashamed of a single thing. My contents is clear, dear viewers. So buy my products, guilt-free. Amazing commodities, here for you year-round, rain or shine. Buy now, or you'll miss your chance. You'll see. Bye bye Apparently, he had no intention of revealing his use for the funds. Does he have no shame? Oh, this Tanaka guy. Just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean that we're his little playthings. On behalf of the people, I have something to say, and I am not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him who gorge themselves on the excesses of capitalism should be... Yes, thank you very much. This concludes our special report. With no clues as to the utilization of said funds, we can only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market. This just in. We have reports that Amazing Commodities stocks have suddenly skyrocketed. The report continues. Dot, dot, dot. My whole body feels sluggish. I'm too exhausted to fight the fatigue. Third year's graduation ceremony is tomorrow. She had to bed early tonight. Yeah, good to see Tanaka has not learned a damn thing. Feeling very tired. I should go to bed early today. Got a text message. Sender's name is blank. Who is this from? Thank you. Is that Ryoji? Or I guess. Bedtime. It's me, I guess. May I please come in? Just a second. I'm busy. Just a second. Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. No problem. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? 
I remember everything. It seems like everyone else has forgotten. But I remember. That day we... Yeah, we did. Don't cry. Aw. Yeah, we did. I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away. Like you did during the last battle. I'm not going anywhere. Today is graduation day, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. The weather is so nice outside. Do you remember where we all promised to meet? Why don't we go ahead and wait for the others? We can enjoy the peaceful view of the city. The time to part has finally come, though this is our last day together. We want the third year class to know that we're truly proud of you. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and success. On this momentous occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kirijosa. Thank you. This past year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. It must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Oh no. She's remembering the truth in the middle of her speech. That's not, it's not a good time. Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. It must be tough to talk about her father. Cutscene. I remember now. That's right. After my father died, there was a time I lost motivation to live my life. Uh, am I forgetting something? Hmm? Not a senpai? What are you doing? Kuromaru! <laughs> but no longer. I shall honor my father's will. I won't run from the future. I'll face it head on. Not a single doubt remains in my mind. And the reason... <laughs> Our promise! <sighs> Mitsuru. That's right! It's because I have forged such wonderful friendships. And we swore that we would never lose hope, no matter what the future may bring. Senpai! We remembered him, and I guess. Yes, I did as well. Let's go. They're waiting. Hello. <laughs> Ceremony. We're not done. the beauty of spring. It's wonderful. <laughs> and yet, without exception, each and every season will come to an end. We fought side by side. We faced the world's end. And now, I'm finally beginning to understand what it was I'd been searching for. I always wondered what it really meant to live. Now 
I think it's following your heart, fighting for what you can change, and accepting the things you can't. Nothing on this earth lasts forever. Every life will one day fizzle out. That holds true for all of us, and as soon as you come to terms with it, you realize something. You see what really matters, and find out what it is that gives your life meaning. When I learned that I wasn't strong enough, I was tormented by it. Now I understand why. Protecting others is the duty I was given, but to me, it was more than an obligation. At some point, it became something I wanted to do for myself. Once I decided to try and prevent the fall, something inside me clicked. When I thought about how I might never see you again, that's when I first understood what mattered to me the most. And so, I made up my mind. What I want is to protect you from now until the end of time. I want to stay by your side. And I know I'm not the only one out there who could do this. But still, I want to. Because I'm positive. If I do it for you, then nothing's a waste. My life will have meaning. So, thank you. <laughs> Don't cry, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry, what's gotten into me? It's good, I finally found a reason to live. So why am I... through thick and thin. Not everything needs to be for some greater purpose. Just caring about someone can be enough. That's all we need to give our lives meaning. As for me, I found my path. And that's to protect you with my life. Thank you so much for everything. You must be tired. Go ahead and rest now. I'll be right here. I won't be going anywhere. In a moment, the others will be joining us. I'm getting sleepier. Eyes feel heavy. Close them. Tell you what, man.
Oh, the music is so damn good. Oh my god, I'm all emotional. <laughs> What's up guys, Future Mason here. So after finishing the game, I did go look up kind of some answers about what happened here. And uh, yeah, to say that I misunderstood the ending would be an understatement. Because in case you are not aware yourself, uh, the main character dies right there. That is actually him laying on Igus's lap, dying because he sacrificed himself when he used the Great Seal to seal away Nyx. He only managed to come back because of his will to fulfill the promise of getting to graduation day. And then once he gets to that day, he ends up passing away, which is why everybody said he was so sick. So obviously I totally missed that. I don't think I'm alone in that. It sounds like in the original DLC of something called The Answer, which which I've heard episode I guess is supposed to be that, but some people are saying that that's not what it is. I guess I'll see whenever I get to it myself. But apparently in the original The Answer, that's when it's kind of confirmed that he did die there. But I definitely missed that. So just be aware going into my post thoughts after the credits wrapped up. Any thoughts that I have about the ending have changed. My overall thoughts on the game are still pretty much the same. But I am going into it with the mindset not realizing that he died. To give my very quick thoughts on the main character's death there. I do feel like from a theme standpoint it makes a lot of sense because this game is about dying and kind of cherishing life so that way you're not scared to die because you realize you've lived your life to the fullest and all of that stuff. I mean you form a best friendship with the embodiment of death who is inside of you so it, it does make sense thematically. However similar to Final Fantasy XV I do have a bit of an issue when it comes to stories that kill off their main character or have their main character sacrifice himself to save people for a situation that they really didn't have much to do with. Because unless I'm misunderstanding what happened, it seems like the experiments that the Kurijo group and Ikutsuki, what they were trying to do is kind of what said about the events of Nyx coming to destroy the world. The main character had nothing to do with that. In fact, the only reason he got involved in this whole thing to begin with is because it was a wrong place, wrong time. He just happened to be in the same vicinity where Igus was fighting Ryoji the first time. So the fact that he gets involved in it by pure happenstance and then he's the one that has to sacrifice himself to save everybody. It's not like Shinjiro's sacrifice where he protects Ken after what he did to Ken's mom. Kind of feeling like a he made up for it type of thing. This is just a sacrifice where he saves lives but he has to die in the process. No mistakes he made brought him to this scenario it was just a matter of happenstance that he had to be the hero to step up and make this sacrifice and I feel like there's something a bit unfair by that I get why that's a heroic act and I get why it's something that makes a protagonist a protagonist however narratively speaking I do feel like there is not a great build-up to that sacrifice and even just the idea of they all wanted to go into that fight together. And even Mitsuru at one point says, we all came up here with the the thought that we were gonna die, so why did only he have to die? And there is some truth to that. They, are, they did become a strong unit, so why does the main character have to go off on his own to fight Nyx and then die to, to save everybody? It just, it doesn't quite add up. So kind of mixed on the ending there, having sat on it for a few days now. I don't think it's bad, I just, think personally for me I don't like it when that type of narrative pops up <laughs> I just personally feel if the main character is going to sacrifice themselves to save the world in a story I feel like it's more impactful if the main character also had a hand in it somehow through naivete or through ignorance partially responsible and I don't feel like the main character was really involved <laughs> in that sense in this story so so I may be in the minority on that. If that, if so, that's fine. It's my own personal opinion. Not holding it against anybody if they do like this story. But definitely for me, the ending, not quite my cup of tea. Still not bad, just not something I personally enjoy. With all that being said, now to cut to after the credits so I can give the rest of my thoughts on this game. Okay, finally to the end of the credits. I'm probably just going to skip it because, you know, credits music is typically copyrighted most of the time
Blinding. Finn. Are we going to talk about why I was looking sick? <laughs> Confused. Is it just because I was remembering stuff? Is that what was happening? If you load the data you save here, you will start the game over carrying over certain attributes from your clear data. If you overwrite the original save, you will be unable to continue playing from that point in the game. If you upload your clear data to the network, you will be able, only be able to load it through the network. I recommend you save clear data to the console. Yes, let's save. And we'll do 13 for the Death Arcana. And also 7 and 13, because Kingdom Hearts. Ha. Oh, hey. Look at that. Aw, that's, that's kind of... It's a little sad, though. Leaving it all behind. Alright, well, with that, obviously going to go ahead and call it there. As far as my future plans for this game, I do plan to play through it again. And get to some of the post-game content. Obviously, I'll do the battle against Elizabeth. Try to figure it out. Maybe it just it's going to take some really epic personas to be able to beat her. Also, once again, this music is beautiful. But I also do plan to play the DLC uh, eventually. I don't know exactly when. For now, I am going to move on, though, to some other games. Because there are quite a few that I'm looking forward to playing. Two of those games actually are also Atlas games, one being Persona 5 Tactica and the other one being Metaphor Re Fantasio or however you pronounce it. Looking forward to playing both of the, those games a lot. But I will keep working on this one in the meantime. If I ever see the I Guess episode go on sale, I'll go ahead and buy it just so I can come back and play it. But as far as my thoughts on this game, just to quickly go through it, this was a wonderful game. I mean, it was so, so good. Persona 3 Portable, again, was the only real introduction I had to this game. So I don't know how much I missed out by not playing the original Persona 3 game and playing more of the condensed version of it. But definitely going from Portable to Reload, it was such an upgrade. First of all, voice acting. I know people had their issues. I know a lot of people were complaining because, oh, they had the original voice actors. Why couldn't you just put them back in? Blah, 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 all that. This new voice acting cast is wonderful. They did such a phenomenal job with these characters. They brought the emotions. They they took the characters and added their own unique little spin on them, in my opinion. That I do kind of feel like they are the same character, obviously, but I can I can pick out moments from both voice acting casts that I think makes them unique. Obviously, I already talked about it, but Junpei's voice actor, Zena Robinson, phenomenal. Just so so good throughout this entire game and then I don't remember her name now but the girl that played Yuko was the other one that I was really impressed by just because of how natural a lot of her her lines sounded a lot of her lines made me laugh just because of her delivery so both of them did a great job but everybody did a phenomenal job in this game really really well done gameplay wise I mean they took a lot of the I think the stuff that Persona 5 did well that made a lot of people fall in love with it and they brought it to Persona 3 which I think is really really smart. You know, The whole not having to scroll through and pick attack or persona or block or any, just assigning them to buttons, really really smart. And it makes it so much cleaner. I think if there's one thing that I would like for these games to maybe implement, it would be a, I guess like a, an ability to skip some of the animations because like they're not super long especially compared to the original game the animations in this one were not nearly as long but there are still some times whenever I'm looking to just kind of run through it quickly or I'm looking to grind and having to sit through the animation of them summoning the persona and the attack happening it's still like it does add up after a little while there are some times especially when you get to you think about all out attacks you think about the theurgies those are also some that I'm thinking, okay, could I just turn the animation off and just quickly run through the battles? But that's, it's a very small nitpicky thing. And again, it's only really something that I feel whenever I've been playing for a while and I'm mainly just focused on grinding. I get to those moments where I'm like, okay, let's let's speed it up. I'm, I'm trying to get through this quickly. 
But I think everything that they, they added to the Tartarus exploration I think was really well done. Obviously I don't really know what Tartarus looked like in the original Persona 3, but definitely in Portable, it was kind of bland to me. And some of that is because I am used to the individual dungeons. You know, from Persona 5 they had the dungeons and then they had and then they had Mementos. In Persona 4 they had each individual dungeon that had its own unique spin and its own music and stuff. This version of Tartarus, it still all had pretty much the same music, but I like the little changes that happened every time you went up a different floor, and the look of each one was so different. I, I really appreciated that. It didn't make it feel like it was the same place over and over again. Granted, I still do think the way that this is set up, the way Tartarus is set up, it still isn't quite as interesting to me as Persona 4 or 5, but I think taking the idea of Tartarus, because you can't really take that out of the game, because it's a kind of a key aspect, I think they did the best with what they had there. And I, I enjoyed it definitely a lot more than I did whenever I was trying to run through Tartarus and Persona 3 Portable. Story-wise, obviously I did know a lot of this story already. I don't think they made many changes. I, I like the story fine. It definitely, I do feel like the character connection it's not quite as strong to me as in Persona 4 and 5, but I do think they do a good job of balancing that with the, giving them a trauma that they all have to work through together as a team. You know, it starts off very much like a job, like, oh yeah, we're all just here to work together and kill these shadows and that's it. But it does become more of a family, a friend type situation as the game progresses and you see them, they're not just working together. It's almost like how when you work with certain people for a long amount of time, at some point you do, unless you just cannot stand them, you do become friends with them at some point. So I like the fact that obviously Shinji's death is kind of the catalyst that really brings the group together and makes them feel like, no, we're, we're really good friends. We're going to fight together to keep each other safe, basically. So I really, I like that touch. It's something that does come as a bit of a shock and it does, it does amplify that element of the team. When it comes to Nyx and Ryoji, and Takaya and Strega and all of that, I thought it was pretty well done. You know, I like the idea of you have some people that they are looking for things to live for. You know, when you think about life and death, a lot of what is being talked about here is stuff that a lot of people struggle with. And I do think, you know, some people do get to a point where they're just like, you know what, there is nothing to live for right now. Like, who cares? This world is terrible. Let's just move on. But that's it's not the, the healthy way to go about it. It's not, in my opinion, it's not a real good way to live because then essentially you've given up on trying to find a reason to live. And I, I think even if you don't have one right now or you don't feel like you have one right now, either you do and you just don't realize it or it's right around the corner. Like there is something that's about to enter your life that will give you that reason to live, that will give you something to look forward to. I, I think they handle it for the most part pretty well. I still do think Takaya is a little bit too much of a an annoying one note kind of, I don't know, dick of a villain, I guess. There's some villains that are fun to hate. He's one that I just sort of hate and that's it. Like I don't really feel any other emotion for him. And considering his backstory, like I said, there should be a bit more sympathy for him, but I just don't think the way that he is written and the way Takaya is, he's too arrogant. <laughs> he thinks way too highly of himself. It's just, it's hard for me to sit here and go, oh yeah, I sympathize with you. No, I, I don't. <laughs> the ending I thought was a very sweet one. You know, it did, did get me pretty emotional to see them all sort of remember together their promise and just have that moment of, yeah, they're going to go see him and all that stuff. Two things I do wish, well, I guess, first of all, I do have to ask, and I might look this up and see if there are any answers. Why was I looking sick the day before? Like, again, was it just a, I'm starting to remember, and so because of that, I'm like, oh god, like, it's just, it's having such a mental effect on me. But the two things I wish we could have seen, first of all, I do wish we could have seen them actually get to, to be up there for their promise, you know, and hang out and see each other again after everything that's happened, because we, we never really got that. We had the moment whenever... My character comes back after they all thought he was dead and then we just cut ahead and everybody's forgotten and then we don't really get that scene until they get up to the roof but my guy's asleep <laughs> on Igus' lap and that's really the only bit we get. The other thing too is I really wish we could have seen Junpei and Chidori meet again after he remembered. 
that's just something that their relationship is very well done in this in this story it gives junpei a lot of a lot of good qualities that are not readily apparent throughout the game so to see that for him it's like good for him good for junpei he's he's got that mature side to him everything he says to chidori is great i would have loved to get to see them together at the end so the fact that we didn't little disappointed in that but it's not it's not too too bad it's just my own personal feelings on it yeah i overall i think the story is really good i think it's a a very well done game i still think persona 5 is my overall favorite for many reasons it's for me personally there's a lot more to it that connects with me i think but i think this one gave me a much greater appreciation for persona 3 because i have heard a lot of people talk about what a great game it is all this stuff and because my only exposure to it was Persona 3 Portable, I think I didn't really, I didn't really connect to it in a lot of ways. And again, I'm not saying that there aren't parts of this story that do frustrate me, but I think this this aspect of it, getting to see it done in this way, I don't know. I think the music helped connect me a lot more. I think the voice acting helped me connect a lot more. There's a lot about this version of the game that I think brought me into this story more so than Portable did. So I'm, I'm really able to appreciate now, this is a good story. This is a well done game. And I think it really shows that the Persona team, they know what they're doing with these stories. They know what they're doing with these games. And I know a lot of people are obviously very excited about whenever Persona 6 is gonna come out. And I have to say, I mean, I'm on that, <laughs> I'm on that as well. I'm on that hype train. They are really doing a good job with these storytellings. I don't know, I'm excited to see what else they can do with this idea of Persona and where else the stories can go from here, what new characters we're going to get to meet. Definitely looking forward to seeing what the future holds for this. But for now, that'll do it for Persona 3 Reload. I, I'll probably sit on my thoughts a little bit more, and whenever I come back to do some of the DLC and post-game stuff, I might give some more thoughts after I've had more time to sit on it, and maybe do some research to see if there's anything that I've, I'm misunderstanding about the ending. But I definitely am glad I got to play this game and I'm glad I also got to capture some of my first-hand experience of it. Obviously not all of it was first-hand since, again, I played a lot of this story before, but definitely this game in particular. Even, even though I did know most of the story, a lot about this game was still really good and stuff that I really got, I enjoyed getting to experience. I think that's all I have to say, so if you enjoyed these videos and this series, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out, lets me know that you guys enjoyed this, and also let me know what you want to see down in the comment section below. What games would you like to see me play in the future? Are there any that you're excited to see me play? Let me know, we can talk about and discuss all that good stuff. Also check out the channel, we have another Let's Play series as well as a lot of reviews, and obviously another Let's Play series coming in the future. But until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you all later. Peace out.